Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I'm going to share with you all of the bags that I have here with me in Dubai. If you've watched my previous videos, you may know that I'm from the UK, from London, but my husband and I have moved to Dubai for possibly a couple of years. And so of course I had to bring some of my bags. I do still have quite a few bags in storage in London, which I do miss. Um, but the bags that I've brought with me already took up a lot of my luggage space, in particular because we didn't ship anything. So we just brought a few large suitcases over and yes, my bag took up quite a lot of space, especially because I felt I had to pad some of the bags as well to protect them from other things in my suitcase. But I'm just going to show you everything that I have here, including a couple of pieces that I bought whilst I have been out here. Um, and I'm not going to do it in any particular order, so let's get straight into it. Whilst this is in no particular order, I'm going to start off with my current favourite, which is the beautiful Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag. And this is the one with the scarf detailing that comes with the bag. So I received this a couple of months ago from my husband for my birthday, and I am absolutely in love with this bag. So it's something that came onto my radar quite quickly. I'm not too familiar with Dolce & Gabbana and I feel like their bags and SLGs aren't really shown much, at least in social media. So it's not something I was that familiar with, but as soon as I came across this, I just fell in love with it. This one is, I believe, in the small size. However, don't take my word for it because their sizings have changed. So I think they've changed the naming of their sizes. But if you watch my reveal for this, I do show the measurements of this bag. So um, in case you are interested, I will link that video. But this is in a lovely, light, very floral pink colour. And you can see the whole bag is very floral. So it comes with this scarf detail on the handle. And you also get this double chain or this chain, which can be doubled up here. So I love this because you can wear this bag a few different ways. You can hold it on the top handle, which is a little bit more formal. Or you can simply throw this over the shoulder, either like this or how I like to wear it is with the slightly longer chain like this. And it just goes so well under the shoulder. It's very comfortable to wear. And I think it's so pretty, especially for the weather that we get here in Dubai. This bag just works um, all year round here you get this lovely little tag at the front with the Dolce & Gabbana plaque. And that's actually the only logo that you can see on this bag. So I really love that. And then the flap opens with two magnetic closures here. And on the inside, you just get this one big empty space with a slip pocket in the front and a zipped pocket in the back. It is lined in this leopard print, which a lot of the Dolce & Gabbana items are. I'm personally not a huge fan of that, I have to be honest, but it's on the inside, so it's not too much of an issue. But um, yes, it's probably not quite my style, but the rest of this bag is just absolutely stunning. So this is currently one of my most used and is my current favorite. The next bag is this one. So this is one that I bought just before coming out to Dubai. It is the Saint Laurent Mini Manhattan Bag. And this is a great mini bag. It is very, very mini, I have to say. So you really have to downsize. It's the smallest of all my bags and it's quite tight with what you can fit inside. So really I get my phone in, which is the standard iPhone 14. I don't know if the Max fits in, but the regular iPhone sizes do fit in. Um, and then a card holder, hand sanitizer, keys, lipstick. And that's pretty much about it. I might be able to squeeze some tissues or something else like that in, but um, it really is very limited in capacity, but it's a beautiful bag. It's very structured and I think it looks so good with so many outfits and really elevates your outfit. So I love this one and I usually wear this um, slung over just one shoulder, but you can also wear it as a shoulder, um, as a crossbody bag, or you can double up the strap here and also wear this one under the arm, which I sometimes do as well. But this is a beautiful little mini bag. Next up, I have my Mulberry Small Dali bag. So I bought two Mulberry bags with me. I have, I think, four in total at the moment. 
So I bought these two with me. It's the Small Dali, which I absolutely love. I've had this for quite a number of years now and it's just a beautiful bag. And I also have this mini Bayswater as well, which is more of my favourite at the moment compared to this one. Um, the two that I left in London are my Mulberry Lily, which I really miss and I do want to bring back because I just think that is the most versatile bag. I have that one in the small or the regular size and also the Mulberry Mini Harlow, which I also love, but I haven't been using that as much recently. So I might bring back the Lily, but these are the ones that I have with me. So this small Dali, this is in the Rosewater in their classic small grain. And the Dali is just a gorgeous style. So it opens with this mini little turn lock here. And then the inside is all leather lined and it's in the style of a wallet on chain. So it's quite a roomy wallet on chain. It really is a mini bag, but you do have the structure and the design of a wallet on chain. So you can put your cards in the back here or cash in the front pocket here. So it's a very convenient bag to use and it comes with a beautiful, a very nice, um, quite heavy gold chain. So that is a, one of my all time favorite bags, but yes, recently I don't use this one as much, but I still love it. And then this one is the mini Bayswater in, I think this is called the cloud blue color. So it's a kind of blue with a gray undertone. This is also in the mulberry grain leather. This one has silver hardware. It opens with a turn lock there. And then this one is actually a PU lining. Um, so it's not real leather, but it feels very nice. So I don't really mind it too much. And it's in a midnight blue. You've got a few card slots on the back there as well. And this bag has a very good capacity. So this is probably perfect for me. I do love my mini bags. And this for me is mini plus some, so I can put in a compact wallet rather than just a card holder and I can fit quite a few little essentials in. And it's got a nice wide detachable strap, so it's very, very comfortable to wear. And the next bag I brought with me, of course, is my Bendy Mini Peekaboo, my all time favourite bag. Um, this one, I have to say, hasn't got as much use out here. I think maybe because it's so hot and sunny that one, I think the black is sometimes a little bit dark and moody for, for the sun. And also because the leather is more delicate, I think when it's this hot, I just like something that's a little bit more durable that I'm not so worried about. This is definitely my most precious bag and I want it to last for a very, very long time. It is the iconic mini peekaboo, so it's in the Napa leather, which is very delicate. Um, but yes, this is just an absolutely gorgeous bag. And um, this is the one that I had most trouble transporting over here because it's too small to be my um, airplane like carry on bag because I like to fit a bottle of water, a book, things like that. So it's too small for that, but it's quite big to fit into a suitcase um, and to try and protect all around it because it's quite a soft, squidgy bag. And because the leather is so delicate, I was very cautious about not getting anything imprinted um, or indented into the leather. And so I was very careful with how I wrapped this bag. And it wasn't until my third trip out to Dubai at the end of last year that I finally brought this over because I managed to have enough space in my suitcase. The next bag is uh, another very soft um, leather one. So this is the Saint Laurent toy puffer bag and mine is in the vintage white. I love this bag, but I have to say, I just do not use this anywhere near as much as I used to. For me, I actually feel like this bag is quite a winter autumn bag, even though the color is very light. I think because it's an off-white, to me, it just, it somehow just works better in autumn, winter. It's not quite bright enough for a summer outfit. Anyway, yeah, I just don't use this quite as much as I used to, um, but this bag is so beautiful. I love the puffy texture of it. It feels such high quality. I love the kind of brassy gold hardware. Um, the inside I've got it stuffed, but it's just um, 
an open space, you've got a couple of card slots in the front and a zip section in the back. And this one is a very nice size as well. It carries um, way more than I would need to on a day-to-day -day basis. And also I like the chain with this bag because it comes with the chain, which makes it look quite dressy, but it also has the leather strap at the top. So it makes it very comfortable to wear indeed. And this is very versatile. So you can wear it crossbody over the shoulder, or I often also um, tie the inside toggle here so that I can make the desired length of the chain and I often wear it just as a longer shoulder bag which I really like so yes yeah, beautiful bag but I haven't used it that much and next I have a couple of fabric bags here so much more casual and easy going um, this one is quite new to me I got it for my birthday from my uh, brother and sister-in-law and I really love this one so it's the lululemon all night festival bag and this is the micro size so it's the smallest one and you can see what it looks like compared to my hand there so it's pretty small but it's a very functional bag so it's fabric so you don't really have to worry too much about it um, I added this little pin here you've got a zip pocket in the front which is where I usually put my keys and then you've got this flap functionality here. So there's a slip pocket here, which fits my iPhone 14, the regular size, perfectly lengthways. And that's super convenient because it means I can just open the bag there and reach my phone, which is what I reach for the most. And then you've got the zip section, so it's a lot more secure. And inside you can put everything else in your bag. And you can either have it this size, or if you wanted to fit a bit more in, you could wear the bag like this, which of course it doesn't look as good, but if you just needed to stuff a couple of things in, then that could work as well. And this comes with a fabric adjustable strap, and it's just a very easygoing mini bag, especially if I'm going out on walks where I'm kind of wearing gym clothes and I don't want to bring any other bag, but I just need something to carry my phone, keys, earpods, things like that, then this is a great one for that. And then my other one, which I've had for quite some time, is the Longchamp top handle, the Le Pliage Neo line. And I, re oh, sorry, actually, I'm not sure if this counts as the Neo line, but anyway, it's the top handle one, which I really love. And it's got the detachable strap and adjustable as well. And this I use a lot. So this one's in the heavy rotation. It's just such a good size for carrying a load of things if you're on a bigger day out and need things like water or a book. Um, this is my go-to airplane um, carry-on as well. And I just love this. I love the slouchiness of this bag as well. Um, and I actually did want something in leather, so something a little bit more formal but still casual so I still wanted the slouchy style but not the Longchamp leather version of this so yes something like that is on my wish list but I think for the time being I'm going to try not to buy any bags and then the final bag that I have with me here in Dubai is this beautiful uh, mini Lady Dior mine is in the blush or the fad I think it's called color and I mean there's lots of videos on this bag it is the mini <laughs> Lady Dior and it's such a gorgeous bag um yes so this is what I wear with my much more dressy outfits I don't wear that too much to be honest even though I'm Dubai I live quite a um modest lifestyle here I would say uh but Yes, I love this bag and I love the jingling jangling of the bag as well. <laughs> so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have got any questions, please let me know and I'll try and answer them down below. If I do this video again later in the year, I may have a couple of extra bags that I bring with me back from the UK. Let's see. Um, but I definitely appreciate that I have enough here with me. Um, and they're not all in constant rotation. So I will definitely um, make the most of the ones that I have here with me for the time being. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.